Hello everyone, thank you for attending today. Now I will introduce about Energy Fundamental Design Laboratory. Our professor, J.O. Lee, got a philosophy of doctoral degree at Carnegie Mellon University. After postdoctoral research in RWTH at Yen University, he started to work as a professor at City College of New York for 11 years. Then he moved from CUNY to KAIS at 2012. He established a laboratory and started to study energy systems and materials design. In a lab, there are mainly four different teams working on four research topics. The first topic is the chemical looping and heterogeneous catalysts. This team utilizes the chemical looping processes for carbon dioxide methanation, CO2 splitting and water splitting with metal oxide catalysts. The main objectives of the team are to design a durable and fast redox kinetic oxygen carrier for chemical looping gas conversion. Also, investigating fundamental mechanism for gas solid reaction through DFT calculation and applying chemical looping concept for process intensification by combined reaction and separation. The second topic is utilizing clathrate hydrate as gas storage materials. Clathrate hydrates are crystalline compound composed of three-dimensional hydrogen bond networks. The gas hydrates can capture huge amounts of gas. Therefore, they can be utilized as gas storage materials. This team is mainly working on investigating rapid synthesis method of natural gas hydrates and hydrogen blended hydrates without mechanical agitation, developing sustainable gas storage process using gas hydrates in quiescent system, and exploring growth mechanism of gas hydrates at molecular level by MD and DFT simulation. The third topic is synthesizing carbon materials from carbon dioxide. We are trying to synthesize novel carbon materials from CO2 to resolve global warming issues and realize carbon neutrality. Above all, carbon material prepared by gases CO2 has unique physical properties originated from the bottom of process. The as synthesized have been applied to energy storage materials such as electrodes for specific battery system, water splitting processes and fuel cells. The final research topic is designing process intensification. A lot of heat is generated from distillation processes. Furthermore, the amount of heat is dramatically increased when separating azeotropes. Therefore, this team is mainly working on establishing feasibility criterion for whether reactive distillation can be applied to the desired reaction via graphical methods, designing energy efficient processes using modeling tools, and com computational fluid dynamic simulation tools such as Aspen Plus or ANSYS Fluent, and evaluating economics of the entire process, and finally, optimization. We are now recruiting and looking for passionate students. If you are interested in one of our groups, please feel free to contact us. Thank you for listening.